today I'm off to the islands of Murano and Burano where they're famous for their glass and their lace. It's gonna be fun. To get to Murano and Burano, we have to sail through this little lagoon and it's really cool. We're getting to see Venice from the boat, all these different little islands. I have never been to a glass factory before, so this is gonna be really interesting. Oh, we just walked in, I can feel the heat already. So we see them sticking the, the glass into the ovens, pulling some out, it's bright orange, and kind of rolling it around and shaping it, and it's such a cool thing to see. I, I have this new appreciation for glass now. Each workshop is a different family, and these are all brothers right here. And it's been going on for, I think this is the sixth generation of this family. And this family, actually, um, they specialize in chandeliers. I just walked into the gallery where it's much cooler, and look at this floor, it's unbelievable. It's all little glass sculptures. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. And now we're off to Burano. There's a woman in here and she was making lace in front of us and kind of explaining the process. So first, they draw the design on a piece of paper and then they start lacing it by hand, stitch by stitch. It takes hours and days. It's all handmade. It's absolutely unbelievable to look at. Now this must be the dress they were talking about, the wedding dress it took two years to make. And you can see all the details in there. As the boat pulled in, I saw all these brightly painted houses, like the purple and greens. These houses are painted different colors so the fishermen in the old days could recognize their own house. But it's actually still a law. If you want to paint your house, you have to write a letter to the government and they have to approve it. What a memorable day. First glass blowing, then the lace, and then the charming town of Burano. And now we're back to Venice.